Kevin Magnus Sykes. So you know I like to do these interesting article reviews every once in a while. Usually a countdown of something. And this one I found on Yahoo News. I was just looking through it, about to check my email. And it said nine signs, uh, you know, that'll show you you'll be a good dad. And I've had women tell me this a lot, that they always, a lot, they always say think that I'll be a good father. But I've never asked them specifically why they say that. I just assumed they thought I was an overall good person and stuff like that. So let's see what these nine signs are that makes you a good dad. The article starts out, says it's normal to find yourself wondering if your guy has what it takes to plunge into parenthood. A veteran dad explains how to know everything will be okay. All right, so number one is he's in touch with his inner dork. Well, <laughs> you already know I'm in touch with mine. So, uh, yeah, now let's say it elaborates. It says, if the guy can be an unapologetic goofball about the Game of Thrones, Star Wars, <laughs> I can't even do it right now. It's going to make me laugh. Uh, Italian wines or fantasy football, then that's a sign he'll one day get completely excited discussing the strengths and weaknesses of each Transformer or complex friendship of Twilight, Sparkle, and Princess Celestia on My Little Pony. And that makes him dad material. So that's number one. So I got number one. Number two, it's hard to gross out. He's hard to gross out. I don't have that one, okay? You see, uh, baby barf pee, yellowish slobber that smells of pureed carrots, you name it, he's going to get covered in it. Daddyhood is not for the faint of heart or stomach. The man who can calmly wipe radioactive green projectile poo from his cheek and go right on seeing the wheels on the bus is in, it, it is in good shape. Now look, I have talked to women that uh, I have sought relationships with. Whenever I got to child talk, I said, we don't have to make a deal about who's doing the doo-doo diapers. I said, I will take care of the pee diapers. I will wash the baby. I will walk the baby. I will water the baby. I will feed the baby. Whatever it is that you need, but you must please take care of the doo-doo diapers. I'm not really worried about vomit too much just because I know I'm going to feed my children very healthy foods. And I know that a lot of children do do stinks and all these other things stink because the kid is being fed wrong food. Now, as y'all always say, oh, well, if you're going to feed them good food, then do do won't stink. Slow down. I still have a problem with do do, the consistency, the look of it. So if she will take care of the do do, trust me, the wife will have some type of payment something to compensate for her taking care of the doo-doo diapers everything else though i should be okay so i'm kind of partial with this one the next one is he's comfortable saying i love you i'm sorry and when appropriate nothing at all i think i got that i always say i love you when i mean it i'm very free with that um and i've always believed that it's part of being a man to be able to say you're sorry, seriously, because it, it says a lot um, about being able to own up to your wrongs, okay, things that you have done wrong, being able to admit it and move forward. Um, and when appropriate, nothing at all. Oh yeah, uh, I, I, I can, at times, I ain't gonna say shit, okay, because it, it just, it ain't worth it. So. Let's see what they elaborate there. It says, immature men want to be right. Mature men want the people they love to be happy. That means doing away with machismo, uh, pretend, pretense, and the fear of honest emotions. It also means knowing when to shut the hell up. So, I have that, although when I'm right, I will let you know I'm right. It ain't part about it ain't about being immature. Like I will not admit to being wrong about something that I know I'm right about. Although I may shut up 
about something that I know I'm right about, just so it can be discussed in detail at a different time. You understand what I mean now? Because it's time to carry on arguments and discussions. It's time to just leave things alone. The other thing is he doesn't need to be the center of attention. It says one of the immediate challenges of going from two to three in a family is that three is going to get the majority of the attention for the foreseeable futures. Guys can be needy, and it would be an adjustment when he needs to share your attention and body with someone else. A man who's content to take the back seat once, once in a while would be happy. He'll be a happy new father. Um, I'll tell you this. Um, I don't have to be the center of attention. I've never been a needy man, so a woman won't have that problem with me. As a matter of fact, I've often imagined how it would be if my girlfriend had gotten pregnant, and um, even if you talk to the ex, she'll tell you, I would have been very, very, very attentive. Probably to a point where I'd be a pain in the neck because that's ours, it's not yours, it's ours. And I'm here to make sure that your ride this, through this journey of take, carrying this child is gonna be as comfortable and you can get everything that you need but I'm going to be that dude that's going to be like, you know, I'm going to be on you. Like, don't be acting the fuck up. You know how some girls want to act up and, you know, act wrong when they're pregnant. You know, whether it be smoking, drinking, uh, eating the wrong stuff. You know, I'm, I'm big on health. So she know what I would have been up her ass um, about carrying the baby and the baby having a very favorable environment. So, you know. Shit, I carried it myself if I could. You get what I'm saying? I'm that type of father. Um, let me see here. Next is, he's the future king of Candyland. Good sign. He can have loads of fun playing every front thing from Call of Duty to shoots and ladders. Bad sign. He's been known to throw the Xbox controller across the room when he doesn't win. If he sometimes drags you outside, in the dark to see amazing full moon, his sense of wonderment is spot on. That's me right there, baby. You know, I could definitely play Candyland with my little son or daughter. I could play video games with him, and I have no problem. I'm shit. The fact that I get, yeah, I, I get more enjoyment out of cartoons than some kids do lets you know that I can definitely do that. So I got that. Next is, he's rich in something more than money. Other than money, it says. Guys can panic about being able to provide financially or for a family, but a good dad knows. Uh, wait a minute. It says, guys can panic about being able to provide financially for a family, but a good dad knows. Sorry for the cliche. Children need your presence and not your presence. Sure, a good dad is financially responsible, but he shouldn't measure his self-worth by his paycheck. That's definitely true. You know, I, I know, not having a dad growing up, that uh, how important having a father in your life is. So I would make sure that I'm going to be there for everything that I can be there for. You get what I'm mean? saying? For all their plays, for their recitals for their practice, for their games. I'm going to try to do everything and be there supportive without being overbearing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next is, I got that. So next is he's very good at something. Doesn't matter if it's rebuilding a transmission or mixed pairs, figure skating, as long as he knows what it means to be bad at something and struggle to be good at it. The work ethic and patience involved in learning to master a skill will be key when he's learning to be a great parent. Well, I'm that type of person. When I'm focused on something, whether it's been weightlifting or becoming a YouTuber or an actor, it's something that I studied and wanted to become better and better and better at it. So I am good at certain things in my life. And yes, I would want to be a good dad. I would uh, read some parenting books before you know, while I'm playing a pregnancy. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to plan a pregnancy. It's just not going to be by accident. I'm going to plan mine, and I'll make sure that I have the tools, you know, to, to, to come into 
to to being a parent as well prepared as I, I, I could possibly be. I know that you know some people are like, you're never going to be ready. I I understand what that means, but it is possible to be as prepared as I can be. You understand that? Next is he's got close friends. So I definitely that just came from a wedding. A few of my close friends was there. Do his friends come to him looking for advice? Yeah, I get that sometimes. Not just for a drinking buddy. Can you picture one of his guy friends one day giving heartfelt advice to your daughters? If so, that's a very good sign. Yeah, I can see them saying some stuff once in a while. <laughs> you know, tell them, don't do this, don't do that, or do this, don't do that. Make sure you do this. I could, I could see them doing that. Uh, next is he generally wants to be a dad. You know what? That's important. I didn't think they were going to say that. It says this might sound obvious, but you'd be amazed what a man will agree to if his partner asks often enough. It's fine to talk to someone, talk someone into ordering Thai instead of pizza, but having a baby shouldn't require even the slightest bit of convincing. If he's excited about the baby to be. Something tells me he'll be a-okay. I'll tell y'all something. There was a point in time when, when I was with Sarah where we had a pregnancy scare. And we thought that she was possibly pregnant. And I remember she was uh, going to take a test and this and that. And I remember there was a point. I remember driving and her telling me, it's 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 not you know it's negative and I remember thinking and I told her I said you know part of me was actually getting used to the fact that you just might be and I was ready I thought about it and I was actually happy if you told me yes and she was like yeah part of me was too so I was ready you get you get that I I generally after I thought about it, I mean even though at that time we hadn't planned it it wasn't the right time but after I thought about it, I knew that I was ready to be a father. You understand what I mean? I was ready. I could financially take care of the baby. Everything was just ready to go. Although she wasn't pregnant, so I didn't have to, but yeah. So looks like I got all these except for really maybe one of them. So fellas, do you have all these um, qualities of being a good dad I guess we can't say that this man is the all knowing king but I guess you know maybe being a father he does recognize um, certain things so did I count them or not 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6 7, 8, 9 yep alright post all your comments below ladies let me know if you agree with these qualities 1 million subscribers woo Woo!